Hello, dear fifth graders. How are you today? I hope everything is fine with you. Yes, guys? Nice. Let's work right now a little bit more in our, uh, our class, okay? Let's solve some more practice over here, solving inequalities, one step inequalities by multiplication and division. Let's go ahead here, guys. The first step, where is the verb? Left or right? I think you understand this one by the TikTok. Let's go. Here, guys, the first one. Where is my variable? Remember to pick and show me. Where is it? My variable, mister, is here. It's A. A is my variable. Nice. Let me just round this one with the color for understanding the pattern. Okay. What is the math operation tied to the variable, guys? Let's think about what's the math operation tied to the variable. Oh, Mr. Map Operation, it is multiplying by 8. Multiplying by 8. Right now, I need to figure out what is the opposite. What's the inverse operation to multiply by 8? It is dividing by 8. We divide by 8. We divide this one here, number 8. And let's solve. Right now, we're supposed to solve this one. Let's solve here. I will solve by A, I repeat over here, I don't flip the inequality because I move a positive number, 48, negative 48 divided by 8, it is negative 6, negative 6 is my answer, let's right now graph, here is my negative 6, my important number, open circle, or close the circle guys, open, I don't have the dash below it, open circle. And the direction of the arrow, mm, it is less than number, less than will be negative, more negative numbers. I move to the left. Here is my arrow. Great. Right now, number 11. Number 11, guys, to solve this one is pretty simple. Uh, let me pick here. Okay. Number 11, the first thing to do, where is the variable? Left. All right, here is my variable W. Okay, what is the math operation tied to the variable? Oh, mister, it is the math operation tied to the variable. It is multiplying by negative 5. Attention, negative 5. Nice. What is the opposite, the inverse operation to multiply negative 5? Oh, mister, if I remember, it is dividing by negative 5. And here, goodbye, positive, negative 5. And my question it is, which number divided by uh, 30, negative 35 divided by negative 5? It is, mm, let me pick one here. Oh, and remember, I move it by multiplication negative number. Look the adding over here. Flip inequality. Okay, we need to flip it. Okay, W, flip it. If I flip my inequality, guys, as I told you here, to flip inequality, how do I do it? I just change it. Right now, is less than. Right now, is greater than. I flip the inequality, as I told you in the classroom, remember? And to keep it true, to keep the solution true. Right now, negative 35, but by negative 5, it is 7, positive 7. Negative, my negative, positive. 35 by 5, 7 positive. I write here number 7. Open circle, close it circle. Open. Don't have a dash. Open circle. And what direction move it? W greater than 7, greater than, greater than. Move to the left. Okay, the number is greater than 7. It is to the left. Nice. That's it for the first one. Remember, we have extend exercise here for all students feels, okay, I think I can do more here. This is the link for you go more extra activities. Guys, we have more works over here. I will solve number 14 and 16 right now. 14, where is my variable, guys? Left or right? Okay, right now it's become be zero for sure. And here is my variable in the right right now. Guys, remember when I have a variable in the right, you need to do something. I will show it to you here. 
And after that, where what is math operation? Oh, it is multiplying by 8. Okay, multiply by 8. What is the opposite to multiply 8, guys? The opposite to multiply 8, it is dividing 8. Dividing 8 and goodbye, multiply by 8. And let's solve. All right, now I need to solve. Negative 16 divided by 8, it is negative 2. Negative 2 is greater than m. Oh, mister, as you told us, when a variable is in the right, you need to do something, yes? Oh, yes, guys, remember, we need to mirror it. Why, mister, do I need to mirror? Because it's easy to read. I cannot read, I cannot figure out the correct position for m here, negative 2 greater than m. Uh, it's hard to me. Let's just mirror it. Here is my m. Right now, I flip the inequality. I flip because I need to keep the mirror here and negative 2. Nice. Here's my mirror. I look m is less than negative 2. Then, then I need to look for numbers. I need to look for numbers. Oh, here, open, or, open again, mister. Open. And my arrow moves less than, less than, left. Left. Here is the numbers I'm looking for. Great. And number 16. 16. Let's solve number 16, guys. Here, where is the variable? Left or right? Here, guys, left. Okay. Ufa. Okay, when the variable is left, it's very easy to solve. What's the math operation tied to the variable, mister? Oh, it's divided by 1.4. Oh, mister, right now it's hard. Divided by 1.4. Okay, I will show to you. It's not hard, it's easy. And what's the opposite to divide by 1.4? It is multiplying. Multiplying. Okay, here's my dot, 1.4. Great, and goodbye, divided by 1.4. Goodbye. Right now, next step, solve. Let's solve then. Here it is, t, okay, greater than or equal to, I keep the same thing, I don't need to flip it. 5.25 times 1.4. Let's solve over here, guys. I have enough room over here. 25 and 1.4. Oops. I think you remember to multiply decimal numbers. Yes? Nice, you multiply as usual, and after you count the decimal place, how many decimal places we have. Let's multiply as usual. 4 times 5, 20, carry 2. 4 times 2, 8, plus 2, 10, carry 1. 4 times 5, 10, 10 plus, oh, sorry, 4 times 5, 20. 4 times 5, 20, 20 plus 1, 21. Nice. Right now, let me just erase these carries over here because I go to 1. 1 times 5. Oh, right now in 10 places, okay? I need to put a 0 over here. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 5, 5. Right, let's add right now. 0 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 5, 5. 1 plus 2, 3. 2 plus 5, 7. Nice. How many decimal places do I have in total? 1, 2, 3. Let's walk back three then. One, two, three. Here is my number. Seven and thirty-five hundredths. Here is my solution. Nice. Let's graph right now. Let's graph. Time to graph. Here, seven point thirty-five. Open or close it circle. Oh, miss right now. Close it circle. I have a dash. Oh, yeah. That's it. And I have a dash, close it circle. I look for numbers greater than, greater than. Okay, my arrow moves to this side here. To the left, or to the right. Nice, guys. Here is the correct thing. Remember to solve it. And here, let me show you just determine whether the given value is a solution to the inequality. I have the solution here, for example, in number 17, I have a negative 5. I need to check if it's a solution or not. How? Just multiply 4 times negative 5. It is less than or equal to negative 16. 4 times negative 5, negative 20. 
negative 20 is less than or equal to negative 16. Is it true or false? It is true, mister. It is true. Negative 20 is less than negative 16. That's true. Great. And you just do the same thing with all other exercises over here. Great, guys. Here's our classroom. Remember to work a little bit more in activities. See you later. Love you. Bye-bye.